This is Eugene Panrichwich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion G6 laptop computer with a broken laptop screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen yourself. All right, before you do anything, the first thing to do is to remove the battery. It's real easy on this laptop. There's a lever on the bottom. Slide it and lift the battery up. Okay, now you can work on this laptop safely. Okay, as with most laptops, the way to get to the screen is you have to take this screen bezel off and then you can get to the screen. The screen bezel, in this case, is secured by two screws which we have to remove. So before we go further, we'll show you the tools that we're going to use. We have an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit, and the PH stands for Phillips. We also have an X-Acto knife to remove the adhesives. And we have some uh, sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that are, stru that are stuck. So let's get started. So first we use our X-Acto knife to remove the screw covers that are hiding the screws. So we reach in and gently try to remove the adhesive without damaging it. And what I like to do is attach it to the side like this so I don't lose it. And we're going to do the same on the other side like so and remove it and once again attach it to the side. Once we do that there's two screws. We remove the screws with our screwdriver and put them aside. One and two. All right, so we put these screws aside. All right, next thing is we have to remove the bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the job, so take your time on this. What I like to do is go from the side, put my fingertips on the screen side, and gently start lifting it up and listen for snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign. So. Slowly go around the screen. If a part is stuck, just keep going around it until you get it all. Like so. So this part is stuck for now, so we're going to go on the bottom. And it's removed. So the screen bezels out, and we put it to the side. Once the screen bezel is removed, we there's some metal mounting brackets on the side which the screen is mounted to and we, there's some screws on the side on the metal mounting brackets that are attached to the screen so we try to see if we can get to them with a screwdriver there's a screw on the bottom and the screws on top so we can almost get to it with the screwdriver if i really wanted to i could force my way in there but I'm going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to remove there's two top screws, which will help me tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit so it's easier to get to the screws. Now, once you start removing the screws, keep each set of screws in a separate pile so when you're putting it back together, you can keep track of all your screws. All right, so now once we remove these two top screws, this allows us to tilt the screen assembly forward just a little bit. And so now we can get to the screws that are holding the screen in. There's one. These screws are smaller size, so we keep them in a separate pile again. And there's two. Once you start removing these screws, Make sure the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so it doesn't fall forward on you when all the screws are released. So we have one. 
down here. This one it's a little bit harder to get to, but we can do it. And you can either take it out or use the metal tweezers to remove the screw once it's out. So, and the second screw. Okay, once this screw is out, the screen is free except for the connector in the back. So we slowly start tilting the screen forward and we see right away is that the video cable is attached to it with some adhesive. So we peel the adhesive back like so. Okay, like so. And we have the screen out. All right, so next what we do is we have the connector here and I have the video cable. So what we have to do is free it up a little bit. It's attached to the back a little bit like so. And we have to remove this connector. There's some adhesive tape on top, which we lift up, and there's probably some adhesive on the back of the video cable. We lift that up also, and it's already out. So let's look at this connector a little bit. Uh, I have a lot of questions about this connector. Let's focus in. Let's slide it in and see this this is how it should look like when it's inserted and you slide it out like so okay so the screen is out let's take a look at the screen so let's take a look at the part number it's i hope it's got a good focus right now n156b6 this is a this is a 15.6 inch LED screen. It's a very standard screen as of mid 2011. Many laptops have it, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. I've had a little bit of compatibility problems, but not too bad. So uh, we sell this screen also for this particular laptop. So uh, if you buy this screen from us, let's get a good focus again. What happened to our focus? If you buy this screen from us, we offer a compatibility guarantee and we also offer email, free email technical support. So to buy this screen from us, go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen and follow the instructions there. All right, um, that's it. So to put everything back together again, we attach the cable to the screen. As I showed you before, make sure it's fully in. This is the biggest source of problems. Put the screen back in and then attach it with screws to the mounting brackets. And then attach the top screws and put the bezel back in and attach the bottom screws down here. And uh, that's it. And you should be good to go. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.